It's time for reading. It's time for reading. The interdisciplinary practices that I use in my classroom are things that I naturally do as a teacher. I have four different languages, including English, um, in my classroom. Most of my students do speak English, but when it's time for them to read and to understand the text, I have to go deeper as a teacher. So that's why that mental model is important. Immigration, can y'all say this word with me? Immigration. I'm gonna make sure that you learn why people immigrate to new countries. They don't, a lot of times, have the background knowledge. Um, so when they're reading a text, it may not make sense to them because they may not have experienced the information that we're talking about. So again, using visuals, trying to bring the information to their experience, and then trying to provide other experiences for them. But now that being a part of this program, I'm more intentional about using these practices. I know some of you all are from Guatemala, some of you are from Colombia, different places in Africa. Your families maybe have immigrated as well. I have a lot of students that uh, come from different countries, and so some of them have limited English proficiency. So, you know, really communicating, working together, if I scaffold information so students can learn, and then working with their partners, we use a lot of conversations. You're gonna see them use receptive language, expressive language, um, just to help their understanding, to build their knowledge. Tell your partner an example of when you had an opportunity. Hi. Knowledge building builds lifelong readers and writers because, you know, why do we read? Why do we want to learn more things? And when you get interested in one topic, then you want to know more. We're reading a story that is historical fiction. It was Ma and Da's dream to one day live in America. The receptive and expressive language, they work hand in hand. Students are going to visualize from the illustration what's going on. They're going to receive that information and um, they'll be able to express their information based on what they have seen. We wrote about how people immigrate. They're just some um, main characters like Nora and Danny. First, in the beginning of the story, Danny was feeling kind of nervous to move somewhere else. We wrote about like their dream was to go to America and they didn't have enough money so three people needed to stay but the dad, the dad went over there to raise some money. Tell your partner why Danny's going to change his mind. Why do you think he's going to change his mind? I think Danny's going to change his mind because there's more food at New York. I learned a little bit more about writing because it was about the story that we read because it tells us what the story is mainly about. We don't copy the word, you say in your own words. My students collaborate every day, all day long. They have shoulder partners, they have face partners. Usually one partner will speak while the other one is listening. And then when they finish, they celebrate each other. Look at your partner and say, you are so smart. You are so smart. So they also have random partners because we may uh, do a stand up, hand up, pair up. We also may have groups of four working together, like a table group, a team discussion. So, you, you know, you'll see a variety of structures that I use today when the students are collaborating. But that's how we do every day, all day long. I want to go to America later because right, the dad needs a job so that he can get more money for the house. All oh, right, he's got to have money for that. Let's do a, a good job, good buddy. Ready? Grab your CB radio. Good job, good buddy. My partner's name was James. I need to help him um, understand some few words because he was kind of getting stuck. I like to help people. Like I don't want them to go through what other people are going through, so I help them out in many different ways. It helped me learn how to express myself to other people. So I use the ILPs to engage students in reading and writing. We will verbalize information. We will look at text. We will communicate what we see, what we wonder about what's going on. One morning, Nora woke up. A moment later, she realized something was different. It looks like Nora is kind of sad though. Oh, 
So what does that mean? They did what? They switched. They switched. Yeah, they switched their thinking. I'm really excited that I'm a part of this program because it's making me think differently. This is just another tool as a teacher that you can use is in your back pocket. You don't even realize it, it's there. You use it all the time, but it's the intentionality of making sure that you are scaffolding education so your students could have that process of that mental picture, creating those mental models so students can comprehend text that's very complex. So you can put here the lesson learned is dreams. Dreams come true. You can help your students accomplish any and everything that they want to. You're gonna open the world for your children. Think about if a child did not understand something and you can use a simple tool as a picture or a scaffolding or conversation with someone else to open up a bridge that will allow a child to understand the text. Why wouldn't you do it? It's simple, you can do it. Let's air high five our teammates and say you rock. You, you rock. rock.